Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss one more common interview question which is asked as an automation tester which would be pattern question. So I am, I am solving the most simpler pattern question in this lecture itself and in upcoming few lectures I will be solving different pattern questions which can be asked in in an automa in automation tester interview. So before starting my code I would like to to visualize the concept of rows and column. So here in the image itself, you can see there are different chairs present. So you can visualize these chairs as what columns and these, these you can visualize at rows means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, you can visualize it like rows. So my purpose wa was to make you visualize the concept of rows and columns. I guess I'm I'm pretty much uh, able to make you understand. Now, similarly, you in the question itself, you can visualize in the pattern itself. This star is just like a chair, and these are the rows. Means four, five, six, seven. These lines are rows, and these stars are chair. So, so now we can start our coding itself. So we will again switch back to our online compiler which we generally use in our coding practices so what i need to do i need to print this stars in column and rows pattern so what i need to do for rows i need to have a outer for loop so let us be with me i will be, i will assure you that you will be understanding after the lecture itself why i am using outer for loop here so I, I will just use for int i equal to 1 semicolon i less than equal to 4 semicolon i plus plus and I will just click enter and curly braces and again your question might be like that why i less than equal to 4 because there are 4 rows means 12, 13, 14 and 15 these are 4 rows means if you visualize like the cinema hall inside view you can understand that there are four rows so i have to use i up to four again what i need to do i need to count the chairs means what are the chairs so for for iterating the chairs or stars i would use inner for loop so what i need to do i will type for int and another variable i will use it would be j equal to one semicolon j there might be some condition which we will discover now and for this we would write j plus plus and inside it we will give curly braces again now think what should be the condition here let us check line number 12 which is the first row having only one star line number 13 which is the second row it is having two stars Similarly, line number 14, which is the third row having three stars. So from this, you can understand that for each row, the number of stars is same to the, the what is the number of that row itself. And the number of row is decided by which is decided by this outer for loop. So this outer for loop will, will be acting as a, acting as a, agent for the rows itself so you have to be using this i as the sign of row so accordingly i can write j less than equal to i this will this would be the condition which we we required to print this the problem itself means star problem whatever i would say so our logic is done now what I need to do, I have to write this system dot dot print line inside the for loop itself and we would try to solve our purpose. So what is the main thing we want to do? We want to print the star. So we will just write star here and try to print for the first time. So let us try what is happening. You would see that it is printing a star but without any pattern even if you would count the number of stars it would be equal to whatever stars is present here 
but we do not want to print like this. We want to print star in this particular pattern itself. So how we can do so? So first of all, we have to understand the concept of print line and print. Why? Because it is printing means print line means what? Print line means you have to print the star and break the line. Means first of all, you print the star and break the line. So instead of this four, I will just make this i less than equal to only two and try to run it to visualize visualize it uh, much better i would say so instead of four i have given i equal to two and you can see you can see there are how many stars there are three stars and even you you can count here for i equal to one only one star for i equal to two there are two stars so total number of stars is what three stars for i equal to two up to i equal to two Similarly, if I would make this i equal to 3, it would be 5 stars, uh, sorry, 6 stars, 3 plus 3, 6 stars it would be. So you can, you can see that there will be 6 stars. So you can count it like this. Just count it. You would count that 3 to 5 and 1 will be in the upper, upper side. You can see there are 6 stars. So basically, basically you understand that using this this for you would be getting the number of stars itself but our problem is to have these stars in a pattern itself how we can do do so first of all we have to remove this print line because each time it is printing the stars in different line we do not want like want like this because for the second row we want these two stars in a same row how, how this can happen? This can happen if we would use system.println inside this inner for loop and do not break the line. Means it should not go to the next line. So what we need to do first, we need to remove this ln and try to print again. Whenever we will try to print again, you can see that it would print in a same line. Means it printed in the same line because now line is not breaking after printing each star but one more problem is there we for each row means after each row we have to have a line break means after completion of one row there should be a line break because we have to go to the second row how how we can go to the second row using the print line concept whatever we have deleted so what i need to do after the completion of a row and what, what here indicates the row, this outer for loop, we would have to break that line itself. So how we can break it? We can use the system dot print line and we can break the line. So we will just write print line and instead of this star, we would only write this system dot print line and try to run it. And you would see that it would be breaking the line. So you can see that it is breaking the line means uh, first for the the first row it printed the star and whenever i use this print line now it is breaking the line after each row now the the, the last mo last problem is what we should have a gap between this star how we can do so we can use the concept of double quotes space Whatever I have I have been using in, in previous lecture, I can use it. So just using this double quotes and try to run it, you will get the desired output. So let us see. And you can see we have got the desired output. So I guess I am able to make you understand the concept how to print a particular particular this uh, particular pattern question. Similarly, in upcoming lecture, I will be going to solve different pattern questions which can be asked in a automation tester interview. So, if you like my content, please like the video. And if you like the channel itself, you can subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.